So again, if there's any man who you think is not good, think again, okay? The real sincere traditional monk, tell me how can he harm you? We eat only some meals a day and he wears only several pairs of clothes, yeah, which you don't want to wear anyway and are not all that expensive. And if he has a car to uh, help his attired uh, fit to go to meet one of the followers, what harm can it be? Please do not think too materialistically, okay? And if there are so many uh, Buddhist followers to give a man a car, oh, what is it then? How much can it be? And if you help him to build a bigger temple, so more followers of the Buddha can come there and remember the Buddha's teaching and try to be good. And then uh, what's wrong with that, huh? The bigger temple is when more people may consider being a monk and also carry this symbol of goodness and compassion. Do not commit this karma. It's very bad for you. Very bad for you. Even if it's not, gossiping is not a good thing to do. I know there are some good monks and some bad monks, but you have to, to know the real thing before you criticize them. I know some of my monks before were also not too good. Uh, one of them even uh, copied me in every way. You know, <laughs> not just a teaching, but every way. Even wearing some femininely similar clothes. He's supposed to be a monk. After he left my monk uh, order, he, he could wear another kind of monk's robe and show himself as a monk. But even if he became a monk, how can he wear this kind of womanly clothes and sit in like a woman? You know, uh, like uh, I did in some of my post photos that you got. And I had some parrots. He also got some parrots after that and shows off. And then uh, copy me in every way except he's taking donations or forcing people to give donations to his own lungs. So much money that people moan, complain, but he ignored their plight, brushed it off as nothing. The people's money earned with sweat and tears is nothing. For example, like that. And even my name, a similar name as well. <laughs> He used to call me Suma, it's a short name of Supreme Master. I didn't want the Supreme Master name, so I said, just call me Suma. And his name is similar. One letter different. Instead of Suma, it's um, so, so, ma, Uma. <laughs> By accident, I recently saw it. Couldn't believe my eyes. I just hope that he doesn't harm people with his demon-possessed body and negative power, well, that's all I wish for. Because the people who are misled to follow him are innocent and vulnerable. They do not know much about anything, so it's easy to fall into the trap like that. I was really praying to God, I said, please, just protect them. Don't let them fall into any trap, not just that trap, please. Because if the teacher is possessed by demons, or if he, she is a demon self, then the poor followers will also become negatively influenced sooner or later. Not to say that the demons will suck up their energy to live on, and or their possessions also to survive. But the demons we act so well, not many will know it. Moreover, if a true master wants to rescue them later, the followers, it will be more difficult, or maybe too late. This is the way Buddha said, demons recruit more subservants and make them become demons also. Uh, yeah, one day or another, maybe the truth will come out. So whatever name you use, I know some of you also use my name, Suma, as well. Well, at least you honestly use the same name. <laughs> you know, like a master. 
Yeah, because you like me. But you similar name just to gain fame and profit. This is really something below dignity. Okay, don't do that. Don't any of you do that, please. Please. You don't need a lot to live in this world, truly. You just need one meal a day or two meals a day and wear whatever clothes you can go outside and buy second hand. Or sometimes people throw it in the garbage. You can wear them also. And maybe you will become famous. <laughs> If people know that you wear second hand clothes or pick clothes from the garbage or from the street and eat a very simple meal, then maybe people will come and follow you and think that you're Buddha. <laughs> even, even you don't have enough wisdom as the Buddhist kindergarten uh, teachings they still think you're Buddha the people can make up anything whatever they like it's public relations stuff nowadays very easy some people come in just get initiated and don't really practice anything it's just for very ambitious goals of their own you know for fame and game, so you can see it. And they try to copy me and all that. Oh, dear God, please remember karma, okay? If you are already a master, you will know it. If you are a Buddha, you will know it. And I'm telling you now, I am a Buddha, okay? Just in case I die tomorrow. And I'm a very special Buddha for this period of human's calamity, all right? Believe it or not, it's up to you. I don't dare to lie in front of God Almighty or all the saints and sages in the whole universe. I am the Maitreya Buddha that you have been waiting for. I am also Jesus or the Messiah that you are waiting for. I say this once and for all. God wants me to tell you that. So do not waste your precious time waiting anymore. Just be morally good. Praise God who loves you and uplifts you. Thank all the masters, Buddhas, for all you have been given and for more if you ask for. Thank for your liberation. Our world could collapse any time now. Please hurry. Please hurry. Repent. Do good. Praise God. Praise all the masters. Please hurry in case. <sighs> Heavens, workers, and I could not hold any longer because of the great karma of the whole world. Of course, there is a risk of telling you this truth about my Buddhahood and my work. But, you know, I have to tell you sometime, God wants me to because it is a necessity. Otherwise, I may not have a chance to tell you again. I hope I continue to exist for a while longer and help you and the world. But if not, at least I tell you the whole truth so that you know you have the right to know, you deserve to know, since you have been so dedicated and faithful. I thank you. All of you who are that faithful and dedicated to God. That is the only most important goal, the only true purpose of your life. And as my disciples, you have found your purpose, your goal. You know clearly now what to do to reach your goal. Some of you are almost there. I came here this time, special just for humanity. I do what I can, okay? Some people say that if you are an Ahan or a saint and you're a master, then you don't know that you are a Buddha, a master. You do know. If you are, you know. It's not because uh, uh, all the Arahans or some masters don't know they are masters, then, then that means uh, no master should know that they are a master or not a master. They know. Some don't know because they're not there yet. They just follow their master and rely on their master's teaching and master power to pass on the teaching to other fellow initiates among their own followers. That's because of the master. They mention their master. They will revere their master, for example. 
They all know. And the Buddha did not mention his master, but he did follow some master, some wrong one, until he woke up and got the right one. Now, otherwise, how would the Buddha know that he is a Buddha? Huh? He told you that he is a Buddha, clear and openly. And he even said, I have been a Buddha since forever, ever, ever. So from time in memory or even. That doesn't mean Buddha was boasting. He just told his disciples the whole truth. Yeah, you can see his teaching. You can see his blessing to his disciples and his people. Then you know that he is a Buddha, whether or not he told you. Lord Jesus did know that he is a son of God. That's why he told you. My father and I are one. What for did he dare to say that? Because it is the truth. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that he was the messenger of Allah. He told the truth. If you graduated as a medical doctor, wouldn't you know it? You'd know it. Only when you're still learning to be a doctor and people ask you, are you a doctor? Then you say, oh, not yet. I am aiming to be. I know some medical you know, uh, ways to treat people and medicine and all that, but I'm not yet a doctor, because they're not. At least they're honest. Only the ones who are not yet a doctor and go out and fake it to treat people or something for their own purpose, to gain money and then run away afterward from the, the law. Then, of course, there's a difference. If you're not yet a master, if you don't know yet you are a Buddha, you cannot say that you are a Buddha. Because that is very bad karma. I tell you why. Because you're, you're lying. That's the biggest lie, according to Buddhist law, you know, the universal law that Buddha taught us. The biggest lie. Why? Because you mislead many other people to fall into the same low level as you. And also you offend the Buddhas of the ten directions, the Buddhas of all times the masters of all directions, because you're degrading them. You're dragging them down into your low demonic level. That is the worst crime you can commit in the universal spiritual law. That's why you should not proclaim yourself a master when you're not. Buddha said you will be condemned in the relentless hell if committing such sin. Worst of all still, all who support, recommend, advocate for this kind of you know, false masters will also share the burden of this worst karma of all karmas. Because you don't know anything. You just rely on these demons temporarily possessing you and you have some little hula hula up somewhere and then you think you are something and you make your followers think that you are something, and then you act as if you're degrading all the Buddha's status, like comparing their superior holy status to your lowly, demonic, possessed level. You got that now? So don't do that, okay? If you are a Bodhisattva, a true one, you will know it. If you know nothing about the real inner spiritual world, then you are not so do not cheat vulnerable people for your own demonic low motive. <laughs>